in a vast. Um, that's just from what I've been seeing here and uh, what I've been testing here. So anyway, I'm going to let these finish the test, and then once they complete, I will be right back. Talk to you soon. All right, so we're just finishing up right now. Um, the uh, Microsoft Security Essentials allowed 22 separate objects in. Um, interesting enough. Um, yeah, not not too good at all. Um, I kind of expected that it was going to miss quite a bit of things, but uh, uh, malware bytes can miss things as well. So this isn't like the only things. Um, one that I'm not seeing on here is the desktop uh, um, AVE here. Okay, that's definitely a virus, and uh, seems the malware bytes did not find that. So keep that in mind with these tests that I do with the malware bytes. It can miss stuff too. So right now, all I'm doing is I'm using malware bytes just to detect the things that you know that these antiviruses are missing because it's good at detecting stuff that antiviruses miss. So this one here had 22. Um, the Avira is eight. That's an upset. That's uh, something I don't usually see actually. Uh, keep in mind, um, there's definitely more left in the background here for sure um, that it missed. But uh, of all the ones that it can detect. Um, 8 is what it found. Uh, the Avast, wow, 19. So that is a major upset. I did not expect a virus to beat Avast in any way, shape, or form. Um, that is impressive. Um, again, Avast uh, uh, missed a couple of, uh, of stolen data, which this one here is actually uh, some form of rootkit that's running in the background. But yeah, no, definitely, uh, definitely a fail for Avast. Um, AVG found 19, um, so same kind of failure there, um, basically comparable to, uh, to Avast, um, same idea, um, I rate AVG and Avast very much equal, um, inability, um, yeah, I'd actually say that's about right, the Avira beat all these other ones, Avira definitely didn't let in as many, um, as you can see, it, uh, I mean, the worst was Microsoft. Um, wow. Uh, I'd say uh, the second worst would be AVG. Um, I believe it... Uh, eh, they're both the same. Let me just get that out of there. Yeah. So the AVG and Avast are exactly the same. There's no difference between them. Um, Avast does eat up more memory, so I'll give AVG better because of that. Um... But uh, definitely a Vira rated number one. Okay, it did the best um, of all the major of all these uh, smaller antiviruses. So that's impressive. Um, second place would go to AVG. Um, not that it actually passed; it severely failed. But it uh, it is the next uh, next one that uh, because of the free space, so because of the memory that it eats up, beating a vast, but just barely. Okay, they're very very close in comparison. And then Microsoft Security Essentials uh, actually finished last. It missed a lot of the raw files that were in the computer. Um, things that uh, the other ones picked up. So uh, I'd say Microsoft needs some more uh, some more work because um, it, uh, it failed on all these tests. So that's my uh, testing on the lower end antiviruses, the freebie ones out there. Um, if you're gonna if you're gonna go with one of these lower end freebie ones, uh, by the looks of it, definitely Avira has beat the other ones out. Um, Avast works good with other uh, security tools, but by itself, definitely not very good. Keep in mind this is the free one. They al also offer a paid one, same as AVG. Um, I'm sure they do better with the paid ones, but Avira is free. It's the exact same kind of thing, and it beat them. Um, Microsoft Security Essentials is free as well but just can't compete. So that's the end of my test. Signing off.